This is Travis Zimmerman of Speak My Word Ministries. The Daily Pulse today is about God and the promises He keeps. And you know, it's it's from from account, you know, people counting through the Bible for certain attributes found in the King James Version of the Bible, there are 1,260 promises. And that's just what we read in the Bible. You know, God, and, and I want to, we're going to get to that in, in about one minute. But just let me share out of you, for you out of the the book of Peter, 2 Peter Chapter 3, verse 9, and, and Peter was the lead disciple for Jesus. You know, not more important than the others, but in general, he is regarded as the leader of the disciples. And this is what he has to say in reminding us. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. 2 Peter 3, 9, and there's a number of things that we could comment on, but we, we talk about the Lord, He's not slow in keeping His promises. He's not, you know, I, I don't know if you've ever seen The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings, the first one in the movie, and Bilbo Baggins first encounters, again, encounters Gandalf the wizard, and, and Bilbo Baggins says to, to Gandalf, he says, you're late. And Gandalf says, a wizard is never late. He's, he's never early, he's never late, but he comes when he comes. How much more it is with God. His timing is absolutely perfect. So he, he, he always keeps his promises. And probably most among those that he wants to rescue us. He wants to deliver us from the sinful state that we're in. We were born sinners. You know, it's called total depravity. We were born in the total sin. You know, even when we were in the womb, we had the, the, you know, the, 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 the sin of Adam in us, you know, passed down to us. We were born sinners. We were born dirty. And but for the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we would be condemned to hell. And God doesn't want that to happen to any one of us. He wants, He calls each of us His children. The issue is not all of us claim Him as our Father. So again, that's the promise, that the, the ultimate promise. I mean, Jesus says, I am the way, in, in, in John chapter 4, 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You know, I, again, that's Jesus, you know, the ultimate promise. So again, if you don't know Jesus, if you're saying, who is this Jesus guy, and can I really put my trust in my life in him, the answer is yes, and he will deliver you. That doesn't mean you're not going to go through life without challenges. That doesn't mean you're going to go through life without difficulties, injuries, losses of you know, loss of friends, families, neighbors, even loss of your own health, and potentially even your own life. But God will always stand with us, and he always keeps his promises. In Jesus' name, amen.